Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Baseball Freak 075 bringing you guys another video here today. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the best way that I've seen to get XP in MLB The Show 21. Because um, as I'm sure you guys all, you know, you know, as you've been playing the game, XP is one of the harder things to come by. And uh, not only do you get all these packs, you know, uniform stubs, um, equipment, etc., um, you also get the boss, which is a 90 plus diamond player, which can be pretty good. I personally don't use any of these cards. And they're actually pretty decently cheap because probably uh, double XP, which is when you're really going to want to take advantage of uh, this, like soon, because we don't know how much longer it's going to last. So it's only supposed to last, um, you know, the weekend, but they've extended it because the servers were so bad this weekend. So you need to take advantage of that. But you can choose any of those three players when you get to 350,000. And uh, yeah. You can uh, get XP by doing your daily missions, moments, um, just missions in general with online players, um, collections, um, definitely recommend doing the Eric Davis one, um, the showdown is a really good way, the conquest as well, um, but after that you're kind of stuck just by playing the game. And as you guys can see, I'm at 451,000. Um, I'm still trying to get to this 650,000. Even if it's crappy, it's still a live series diamond player. And that's at least, like, probably 20,000 stubs. But there's also a chance you could get a Mike Trout of Mookie Betts. You know, something crazy like that. So I'm really trying to get to that. But either, like, way, like, if you get to the diamond ball player, um... Um, uh, pack that's like a guaranteed at least like 40, 50, 60,000 stubs. Um, because the diamond equipment and perks or quirks, excuse me, go for a lot in this game, so that's a decent amount of stubs at minimum. Um, and then you also get you know the specialty packs and bundles and all that. But this is the big boy, this is what we want because it gives you a really good chance to get something good. I mean, if you get Mike Trout, that's 350,000 stubs at least. So but anyways, I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I've been doing. Now, this is nothing new. Um, other YouTubers have been showing this off. So, if you need to make your own, fairly, fairly simple. First, you just want to make sure everything's on, you know, beginner when you're pitching. That's really all that it matters. Um, um, you can put it on whatever, you know, pitching interface you want, all that. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, yeah. The main thing you want to do is you want to find the roster and control, uh, and you want to make, can I make a player? No. Create player. There we go. You want to create two players. Just, uh, one is a hitter. You can just make sure he has zero potential, zero on everything. This is going to be a hitter. Um, and this is going to be, uh, you know, who you're going to face. Um, I like changing the batting stance, though. I don't know why. Uh, I just don't like um, seeing um, that common batting stance. For whatever reason, it just bothers me. You don't have to do this. This is just because I hate looking at this, you know, generic batting stance. But give them, like, just a batting stance. That's what I do. And then you go ahead and just finish. Free agent pool and export player, and then you're gonna save it. Just JR for Joe Random. Go ahead and save them. And that's gonna be the hitter. You're gonna put those basically on the other team, a team that you're gonna face, and you're gonna player lock as a guy that you're going to create, which is gonna be a pitcher. Now you can design him however you want. You can make him, uh, I'll just name him Drew for the six, since that's my name. Uh, Drew Random. Screw up. Um, but yeah, you want to make a starting pitcher, and uh, you just want to give him, you know, a hundred on everything on his uh, pitching abilities. So it might take a little bit of time, but you just go ahead and go through, bump everything up to, and um, go ahead, Frigid Pool. Just put this in my name. All right. And here's where the fun part begins. You go to w roster control. And you're going to want to put the pitchers on a team that is an American League team so there is a DH so you don't have to hit. That's going to save you a lot of time. So, Texas Rangers. And it's roster import player. So, what I like to do is go to the MLB roster, find all their position players, import position player. And this will be the Joe Random that we, we created. 
Just import, just keep doing it. Keep doing it till there's no uh, position players left. All right, after the MLB roster has no more um, position players that are not Joe Random, you're good to go. So, just go ahead and save the roster, save the custom roster, roster XP. Alright, and go ahead and just save it. You can save it over anything, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, yeah. And then you're gonna wanna go to File Management and load the roster. And don't touch the sliders either. If you mess with the sliders, um, it will um, take away the XP for whatever reason, so don't do that. And after you do that, just go ahead and head to an exhibition game, and then your favorite team is probably whatever team you put the picture on, I assume. And then just go and find the team you put all the Joe Randoms on. And make sure um, fast play and quick counts are on. And then just go ahead and get in your game. And uh, yeah, basically you can just put Netflix on, uh, Hulu, uh, YouTube, anything you really want to do. Um, just TV show something. Or you can just scroll through your phone. I mean, you can really mindlessly just keep doing this. And when you're done with the uh, game, you can just restart. So it isn't even, like, that difficult, Afternoon to be completely baseball. honest with you guys. But, yeah, just mindlessly. And you can give your guy a fast release, too, um, if you want. Um, it's probably what I would do. But you can just get through the game relatively fast. And then uh, this is basically it. You just keep playing this and player lock as a uh, starting pitcher and get all the strikeouts and uh, XP you can doing this. It's uh, honestly the best method that I've used. Um, and I'm going to keep continuing to do that so I can reach that 650,000 threshold so that way I can get that live series diamond player. But uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comment section um, below. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. But with all that being said, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys did enjoy the video. And we'll have some more videos out to you soon. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace out. Once upon a time, there was a little kid. His name was me. Tripped the rip and dragged apart like a barber that can hardly see. He grew up to be big and strong. Pissing the industry off. Wishing they'd listen because they miss.